Hi, I'm Jim Gordon, and you're watching Market One Minute. Joining us is Dave Dinesen, CEO of Cubic Farm System. Dave, welcome. Thanks, Jim. Good to be here. Great to have you here. Okay, tell us about the problems Cubic Farms technologies are designed to solve. Cubic Farms is a technology company founded by farmers. We live in a world where we're dependent on uh, long chain agriculture right now, where things are grown in one place far away and then we rely on the supply chain to get it here. So we burn a lot of fossil fuels to transport those things. We're also living in a time where climate change is really affecting how farmers are able to grow in that reliability. So our technologies do two things. One, they allow us to localize food production and then also to mitigate against climate change. Because we're growing in a controlled environment, we, we aren't as susceptible as to what's happening uh, outside. So we have two technologies. Our hydrogreen technology that lets us grow live green animal feed all year round using a fraction of the water and land, no fertilizer, and it's like a super feed for livestock. And then our cubic farm technology lets us grow vegetables, leafy greens, salad products, things like that. Again, year round, no pesticides, very little land and water and energy. And they're delicious, um, which is always surprising to people how much better these things taste. And Dave, what makes your technology so unique and why are they so needed now? Jim, we're already using 100% of the world's fresh water that's available for human consumption and agriculture. We're also using all of the land that's available for agriculture, for growing, for livestock and, and for traditional growing. So if we're on a planet that's going to double its population in the next half century, then we need to do far more with the land and the water that we have. So our technologies allow us to do that. So for example, our hydrogreen technology will use 90% less water than traditional field farming for livestock. That's one-tenth the water. So the hydrogreen vertical pasture will save 500 million gallons of water per year. And one vertical pasture will replace about 500 acres of traditional grazing lands. Well, that's about 380 football fields. Incredible land efficiencies. And the hydrogreen grow system lets you have up to 360 harvests per year so that you can reliably feed your animals every day, no matter what's happening outside. And there's zero waste. Everything that's grown in the hydrogreen system all of it, it makes its way to the animal and it's eaten. Because you're not going to harvest it until the minute you're going to feed it. And perhaps most importantly, you can go from seed to superfeed in just six days. And with our cubic farm technology, we use 95% less water. So for example, to grow a head of lettuce, we will use two bottles of water, as opposed to in a field, you need to use about 40 bottles of water. And then our cubic farm technology is 52 times more land efficient than traditional farming. So one cubic farm module would grow the same as an entire football field of land. Our local chain technologies, they shorten supply chain, they minimize resource use, and they maximize every cubic foot of space, thus the name cubic farms. And Dave, what is crop motion technology? That's our patented uh, technology that enables us to move plants throughout each module. And it, it lets us have only one row of light, yet have hundreds of plants moving throughout the system from the front and the back. And it dramatically lowers the amount of energy that you need, reduces labor, and it literally utilizes every cubic foot of space again. So it, it's just a very efficient way to grow indoors in a controlled environment. Uh, Dave, can you share with us which customers are currently using your technologies and do you provide other services for your customers to help them succeed? Well, we call our customers farmer partners okay. and uh, j just to give one example, uh, we have a farmer partner in Calgary uh, that has 23 of our cubic farm growing modules, so growing vegetables locally there, mm -hmm. which is so exciting. And that system is very energy efficient, it's a solar operated system. And we help them with grow recipes. And then we have a team called our Cubic Farms Garden, which actually helps our customers sell their produce into the market. As well, we provide branded packaging, access to seeds and nutrients and substrates, and whatever they need to operate their farm efficiently. And then we help them with industry relations. And Dave, how can people invest, join your team, or just learn more about Cubic Farms and Hydrogreen? We're really passionate about what we do and we invite people to join us on this exciting journey. Uh, we actually have a very exciting event coming up on October the 21st. It's called Cubic Farms Amplified. And at that event, we're going to be launching our category, Local Chain Ag Tech. 
We're going to be joined by some really interesting people, including astronaut Chris Hatfield and other industry experts. We're really excited about showing off our technologies and, and sharing with people how we are leading local chain ag tech and creating that future of farming. And they can go to our website and register for that event. Finally, what is the total addressable market for Cubic Farms and Hydro Green? Well, I think they're enormous. There's not much more important than food and food security. But conservatively, I think for cubic farms, it's greater than 300 billion. And for hydro green, I think it's even larger, greater than 400 billion. The markets are enormous. With that, and especially with people wanting ESG-friendly investments, I think there's a great future for cubic farms. Thanks for joining us, Dave. Thanks, Jim. Hi, I'm Jim Gordon. Thanks for watching this Market One Minute on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with other videos that we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click on this list to see other great videos from Market One. And thank you again for watching.